Debian 13, Trixie explained what they are not saying. Let's find out. So Debian 13, also called Trixie, is the latest version of the Debian operating system. It comes with the new features, better desktop environments, and improved support for modern computers. On the surface, it looks like a great update, but there are some things that you should know that aren't often mentioned. Number one, not all hardware works perfectly. So Trixie works better with newer computers, especially when it comes to Wi-Fi, graphic cards, and sounds. However, some users on Reddit have said that their microphone or sound setting didn't work after they installed Trixie. Others had problems with NVIDIA graphics in Wayland, which is which is the newer display system used by Linux desktop. These problems didn't happen with the older version of Debian 12. So even though Trixie is new, it may still have trouble with some hardware. Next is the testing. So even though it feels fast and modern, Debian 13 is still in the testing stage. This means it is not the final, fully stable version yet. Some programs may have bugs. Some desktop features may not work as expected. So it's not recommended for serious work computers just yet. So many people say it works fine for everyday use, but there are still some small issues. If you rely on your system for work, it might be better to wait until the stable version comes out. Next is the security update are not complete. So Debian 13 has newer software and tools, but some application may not get quickly security updates yet especially those, those who made with Go or Rust programming languages. Also, web browser based on older system like Qt WebKit might not get the latest security patches. This means some software can become unsafe over time. So this is something that many users don't realize when they switch to Trixie. Next, upgrading may break things. So the new Debian installer look, looks cleaner and easier to use. It also has a fresh theme, but when upgrading from the older versions, you may run into a problems. So some tools like System Boot, System MD Resolve, or file system like BTRFs might need extra setup after the upgrade. If you don't install the right packages, your internet, booth menu, or system rescue tools might stop working. Also, changes in small tools like Dash could break scripts or settings you've used before. Next is the new format for software sources. Debian 13 adds a new way to manage software resources called Deb822 format. This is more organized and safer than the old method. However, most guides still use the old style, which may confuse new users. If you are following instructions online and they use the new format while your system is still the old one, it could cause issues when installing or upgrading software. And that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.